Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to install version 3.0 firmware update on the Sony a7S III. So go to your web browser and search Sony a7S III firmware update. Your top result should be something from sony.com, and it should say drivers and software updates. Click on that. Now here under downloads, you're gonna see version 3.0 for Windows and for Mac. For me, it's Windows, so I'm gonna click on that. Now you'll see here that it says, after updating this version, the camera settings will reset to the default values. So all your settings are gonna get wiped out. And it's important to note that settings before version 3.0 cannot be loaded after this update. So they recommend making a note of all your camera settings. Now I have a video on this channel that breaks down my recommended settings for the Sony a7 III, and I have that link in the description. All right, so we're gonna go to the top and click on download, scroll down, download. You can sign in if you want, but I'm gonna click on download now without an account. Once you've downloaded that file, it's going to be a zip folder. Go ahead and right click on it and extract all. Press extract, open up that folder, and you'll see that you have actually two different update files. You have to do one at a time. So make sure you do 01 first. Double click on that. All right, so now you're going to want to connect your camera to the computer via the USB. Now I tend to take out my memory cards whenever I do a firmware update. Turn on your camera and then connect the USB cable. Once everything's connected and your camera shows that it's in USB mode, mass storage, click next here, verifying the connection. Press next, the camera's automatically going to reset. So now it's starting to run the update and you'll see right here the current version, which I have is 2.11. This update is gonna change it to 2.15 and then we'll run the other updater, which will get us to 3.0. And then when it finishes, it'll give you the option to click on the finish button, click on that. And while your camera is still connected in USB mode, mass storage, now go and open up the second installer, 02 update, double click on that, give it a few seconds. Then it'll tell you to connect the camera, which is already connected, so press next, verifying the camera version. You'll see that the current version is now 2.15. Version after the update will be version 3.0. Click next. That's gonna automatically reset the camera and do the exact process once again. Don't worry about this USB device not recognized if that pops up. Go ahead and close that out. Don't disconnect anything. Let this continue doing its process. And now it's starting to run the update. Installer one took roughly about 12, 15 minutes. Installer two should take roughly about the same. And right, once that's done, you'll see it says the update process has been completed. You can go ahead and press finish. And even before you disconnect the a7s3 you'll see here that it actually takes you straight to your menu system as the entire camera has been fully reset as if it was a brand new camera and again all your previous settings are gone so hopefully you took notes if you didn't i actually have a settings preset that you can download for my best options for using this for video and for photo i have a link in the description to download my preset settings as well as another link with a video tutorial on how to install the settings Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I also have a playlist on this channel with more Sony Alpha tutorials. If you guys are interested in getting this camera or any of the other gear that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase it. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.